Virtual production is a new tool that's currently changing the way films are made. We've seen many things like this before, from rear screen production, front screen production, matte paintings, CGI. I remember the first time I saw young Sherlock Holmes with a pane of glass. Not long after that, you had Cameron with Abyss making water tentacles. You had audiences completely floored, including my 11-year-old self going to see Jurassic Park in the theaters four times saying, how is this possible? Then you got to see how that tool was used and you had the less in your face versions of it, like the way Zemeckis ended up using CGI in Forrest Gump. It became another tool that filmmakers utilized. So green screen, same thing happens all the time. Technically, green screen started out as blue screen back when film was being used, and then it transferred over to green when things became a bit more digital. Now, virtual production using Unreal Engine 4 does a bit of a throwback to the old days of rear screen and front screen projection. You're actually live on set seeing the background that'll be there. It's just rear screen projection, but on steroids. And we're just starting to be able to see how this tool can be used. Specifically, Jon Favreau and Mandalorian brought it to a whole new level. We're kind of seeing the infancy of this right now. This will end up being a huge cost savings. The amount of time that you don't have to wait for the sun to be perfect, you come back numerous days to one specific location to get something just the exact way that you wanted it. Saving time on not having to build certain sets and props you end up striking a set and then need to reshoot something, you have to rebuild everything again. Now you just pull it up in a computer. Rear skin was very limited in what it could do. You couldn't actually shoot or see a perspective change that was happening. Something coming straight forward or moving back. Now the camera actually moves perspective wise with the background. And that section of the background that the lens is seeing actually moves in 3D space. So mountains that are far out in the background move a lot slower than rocks in the foreground. As with any new technology that comes along and gets applied into filmmaking, it's just a new tool in the toolbox, but we're watching it closely, and our CG guy Zorin is super into this tech. You're goddamn right. Remote working. <laughs>